I ask myself, do they really love me? And I'm thinking about certain friends in my life, certain people in my life. And I'm thinking about, do they really love me? I asked myself this question a long time ago. If all I had to offer was me, would people still be around me? Will people still support me? Will people still believe in me? If I didn't have anything beautiful surrounding my life, if I didn't have whatever people think is attractive, would they still be there for me? And the truth is that some people don't come into your life to love you. Some people come into your life to use you. Some people don't really see you as a friend. They don't see you as a homie. They don't see you as somebody they believe in. They might tell you those words. They see you as an opportunity. And a lot of times we fall for opportunity. We let words make us fall for opportunities that really ain't meant for us to even have. We allow opportunity, we allow presentation, we allow perfection to put us in situations that's not right for our life. And we spend our whole relationships and our whole friendships and partnerships thinking, is this person really for me? Because true colors will show. But I want to tell you right now, like if you didn't have those things to offer around your life, if it wasn't there for them all the time, you wasn't that 2 a.m. friend, would they still be there for you? If you wasn't their bank, basically when they need money and they need you, would they still be there for you? If nothing attractive was surrounding your life, would they still be there for you? Some people are in our life just for the fact that it's something about you that they can take from you. There's something about you they can use from you. Some people aren't around for you, for what's in your heart. They've surrounded you for what surrounds your life. So I want you to ask yourself a simple question today and be real with yourself. Do they really love me? A lot of times, people that are around us that really ain't for us, they are far from unconditional. Their love, their support is so conditional. When it's popular to be around you, when it's popular to say they know you, they'll support you. When things are up in my life, when I was at my rock bottom, I couldn't find anybody, really, except a few real ones that are still by my side today. But when your life is no longer attractive, when you hit your rock bottom, when you go through your sickness, when you go through your pain, when you go through your depression, when you go to the things that I call the beautiful ugly, when you go through your rock bottom and hit your rock bottom, who's still going to be down for you? Who's still going to be around you? Who's still going to have your back when the world turned their back? Maybe something about you fell off. Who's going to fall off with those things? But too many times we surround our life around people that don't want the best for us. They want the best for them. There's something about you that attracts them to you. Maybe it's what you're giving up. Maybe it's the opportunities that come with you. But if you weren't living your best life, who would still want to be the best for you? Who would still be helping you? Who would be cheering you on? Who would still be reminding you of your greatness? Who would still be reminding you that there's more to life? Who would still be reminding you that you're great? You need to elevate those people in your life. Keep those people close. Stop surrounding your life around fickle people. Stop surrounding your life around fair weather people. Who's going to be there in the storms? 
I don't care if you're in my life in the sunshine. That's easy. But if I got no hands in my storm, are you going to hold my umbrella? Are you down like that? When the storms tear down my foundation, can I come to your crib? Can I depend on you? You got to get clear with those people in your life because truth is, we get upset when people show us who they are. Like when we get so mad when somebody has showed us over and over and over, they ain't there for us. And we get mad when they don't show up for us. We get so mad when somebody tells our business, when they told our business a million times. We get so mad when somebody doesn't give us what we've given them. We've been there for them all the time. They're never there for us. And it's been like that. And you get mad when they aren't there for you the next time. It's on you at some point. At some point, you got to open your eyes up and stop being in love with who you want them to be and start seeing who they are. You stop being in love with the potential and start seeing the truth and what's real. And ask yourself, does this person really love me? They might like some things about me, but do they really love me? And I'm not just talking about relationships. I'm talking about your friends too. Talking about your job too. When it gets real, you're gonna see who's real. You're gonna see what's real. Real situations expose fake people. So when I go through real moments, I don't put my head down. I look around. I see what's for me. I see who's for me. And I'm going to be real with you too. You have to make sure that you're that person for other people. It's easy to say this person ain't for me, but you ain't for nobody. It's easy to tell this person you don't support me, but you don't support nobody. So might be the person. But if all you have to offer was you, who would still really love you? If you're living your best life, who would still want to be the best for you?